Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, guys, we're doing something a little different. This is something that I never like ever do on my channel, but I figured I'd try it out. But we are doing a like Sephora slash Ulta haul. Now this is not everything that I picked up. Unfortunately, one of my packets, unfortunately one of my packages is just out there floating around the United States. At some point it's going to arrive, but it's definitely but it's definitely been delayed, but I'll dive into that. But if you guys wanna see what I got, why I got everything that I got and whatnot, well then definitely keep watching. Before I dive into today's video, I just want to let you guys know that this Saturday, February 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm actually going to go live here on my channel. It's been a hot minute since we've gone live together. I want to say like the last time I went live for you guys, maybe it was like November, December. Um, I typically go live a lot for my Patreon members, but I don't really do it that often for you guys and I really want to. So hopefully you guys want to come join me and come hang out and just, yeah, let's just shoot the shit. So, um... Anywho, we are going to do a Sephora slash Ulta haul. Now, like I said, typically I don't ever do this style content, um, just frankly because I can't afford to. But I was able to because of two reasons. One, I saved up my gift cards. I saved up some Ulta and Sephora gift cards because I was gifted it during the holidays and I've saved them because I just knew I wanted to save it for something special. And two, Sephora has Clar9, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but it's like an afterpay service and <laughs> blessed be, blessed be that they have this service available. So I'm very, very, very grateful that they have that because that's what's making today possible. So before we dive into these packages, I do want to let you guys know that I do have another package that's supposed to arrive, it says next Wednesday. It shipped out the same time this one did, but for some reason it's just, it's taking a little detour. I think it's going sightseeing around the United States, seeing like taking some cool photos and whatnot. So hopefully they bring me a, a postcard with their travels. But I did pick up the Urban Decay uh, Wild West palette. I really want to try it out. I said I put that in my Anta haul. I kept telling you guys I was unsure whether or not I wanted to do it. But then after looking at it often, I was like, ah, oh, damn it, I want it. So I, I picked it up to review for you guys, but I'm not gonna do like a standalone review. Like everything you guys see in today's video, I was gonna do a full face of first impressions. Cause again, that's something that I rarely do here in my channel. Typically when I started doing this uh, purchase, I was looking for a full face of drugstore stuff because I have a few new drugstore items I want to test out, but it's not a full face yet. And I want to make it like a full face as best possible. So if I can't get everything and I keep looking at Ulta to see there's some new stuff and unfortunately it doesn't seem like there's anything too new at the moment. And if there is, please, 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 please let me know in the comments below. But um, I do have a few drugstores I want to start. I do have a few drugstore items I want to review for you guys, but I figured why not do like a high end type because I never do that. So I picked up that and then I also picked up the new Marc Jacobs. This is like the two in one foundation where it's a foundation slash concealer. Now this is not uh, revolutionary at all. I know that Pure Cosmetics has a four in one and the Tarte did the, the tarp shape tape did the exact same thing. So this one's like the extreme caffeine one. So I picked it up. I hope it's right color because it's just going to be light in for light neutral because I don't have a light medium neutral. That's for me. They do like a light medium warm neutral and that's going to be too yellow on me. So I tried to be smart today and I went to Disney Springs because they have Sephora there. I was like, okay, I'll just go to Disney Springs. I'll buy the two items that I'm missing from my purchase. And then next week my box comes in, I'll just return those ones to get my money back, you know? And uh, of course it's not available at all inside Sephora, both the foundation and the palette and I felt so bad because I was so heavily looking at the Marc Jacobs stuff trying to see if I could find the foundation and a worker comes up to me and she goes hi and she goes to hand me a basket and I just went no thank you like it just just no thank you and she kind of looked, looked, took a step back and I said I'm sorry I'm just browsing I like I'm, I'm good like I, I don't need anything and uh she was really sweet, but Corey's like, oh, you just put like your hand on her face. It's like, I didn't mean to. I just would, didn't want to take the back, the back. I just didn't want to take the basket. Like she was shoving it in my hands. And I was like, no, thank you. Cause I try not to take any carts or baskets with me unless I absolutely need to. Cause you know, COVID and uh, I didn't want to take the basket when I was only there for two things. So uh, sorry, <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, so I went there to go look, and unfortunately, I don't think they're available in store yet, and if they are, my Sephora just didn't have it, so I tried to pick it up for you guys, but what's really cool is while we were there, I don't know if you guys would know this person, but Tim Tracker was there, and he is a huge, huge uh, YouTuber here on this platform. I think he's close to like a million subscribers if he's not already there, and it's him and his wife, Jen, and they go all around Disney and all around like Central Florida, and they show you like really cool things about Florida. They've been around for so long. I've run into them a few times because they always come into my job and I've also seen them at um, oh my god we went to Dark Horizons last year I ran into them there actually I uh, was so invested in seeing Tim Tracker that I followed him into the men's bathroom because I thought he was taking me to the event and little did I know he was just taking me to the men's bathroom and I followed right behind him and he looked back at me and he was like I'm so sorry I thought you knew where you're going I literally had told this story that I thought this man knew where he was going because I was like oh he's he know he's a youtuber he knows what he's doing nope followed him straight into the men's bathroom because I thought he knew where he was going so um it was really cool but we did one of those things where like Corey Corey and I walked by he goes we're like oh my god it's like Tim Tracker and I've met him before but I wasn't gonna like be that let me stop and take a picture with you because you know they have a little child they had a little baby with them and a little baby Jackson and I just I don't know. I didn't want to like, and you know, push myself towards that little like baby. Corey just goes, "Hey," and just wave, and they sign and go, "Oh, hi." And I could tell they're like seeing if we were gonna ask for anything, and we just kind of waved and just kept walking. So like, they just kept walking too, and it, I don't know. I kind of laughed. I was like, I think they thought we were gonna like ask for photos, and Corey's like, "No, no, no. We gotta be chill." He's like, "We gotta be chill." He goes, "But wouldn't it be funny if his wife Jen's like, wait, are you Allie Dawson?" And I'm like, "No, that would never happen." Actually, it's so funny. In my TJ Maxx haul, someone in my comment, someone in my comment section said, "Oh, you should tell the people when you're filming that you have a YouTube channel." Guys, I'm gonna be real, like really, really real with you guys. I never ever 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 talk about my youtube channel and like in my like real life out here like whenever we go to the bars or anything that i i act like i don't have one i get very very self-conscious about it i feel very weird about it uh i'm just not that type of person that like looks for attention like that so it never gets brought up and if it does it's always Corey bringing it up never me i just feel really awkward about it and especially if i'm like we were at bj's the other day and uh, this guy was talking about his wife having a uh, Instagram and she's like 20,000 followers and she's trying to start YouTube and Corey kept trying to be like oh yeah she has one I was like no 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 because I don't know I just get really awkward about it it's just it's so it's still it's still so weird to me I'm I don't I'll never get used to this but um I kind of rambled on and I, and I know you guys are here to see what I got but that's that's my story that's what happened today at Disney Springs when we went to go pick up items I'm not there so First things first, we're gonna dive into my little Ulta bag right here. Now, Ulta, I tried consistently to see there's new drugstore items on there, and sometimes it's really hard to determine what's new, what's not. But um, I really keep checking because I really don't go to uh, Ulta and Sephora that often. I like to do all my shopping online now just because, I don't know, it's just easier. And a lot of things are available more online first than they are in person. So the two things that I picked up from Ulta are actually this new CoverGirl Simply Aegis Instant Wrinkle Blurring Pressed Powder. It has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, complex, and I, I just thought this would be great to try out when I do my drugstore first impressions. It'd be a great product to go with it. It's CoverGirl. It's been so long since I've tried anything from CoverGirl. Uh, I couldn't tell you the last time I tried anything from CoverGirl, so this looks like like be really cool, and it's an instant, instant wrinkle blurring. <laughs> your girl needs it so <laughs> um i know i'm gonna get questions on this what am i wearing my eyes guys i'm actually wearing the blend bunny cosmetics blend palette i love this palette so damn much it is the perfect palette it is absolutely affordable it works so well they blend itself and i actually do have a discount code it's code alley which will save you guys 10 percent off your purchase it's not affiliate i do not get paid for it i just thoroughly enjoy this palette it's so freaking good and it's just so pretty and just Oh, I feel like it makes my eyes look really nice. But yeah, that is what I had picked up. And then I also picked up this um, ABH. This is the Brow Freeze. I've been seeing everybody talk about this. I even saw Jaclyn Hill talk about it on her Instagram where you put this brow product on and like you don't have to do anything but like literally like... Oh, that's so weird. Literally touch it and just like sweep it up and it's supposed to like freeze your brows into place. So we are definitely gonna have a good time playing with this for sure. I'm excited. I know that on Sephora's website, it was sold out. So I had to go to Ulta to pick it up, but thank God for Ulta points. So, okay, so now I'm diving into this box right here. So I did pick up something from Rare Beauty. 
I know. Listen, I'm trying to do a full face. So I picked up the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm in the shade Nearly Neutral right here. This is from Rare Beauty. Brewery, <laughs> Rare Beauty. And I picked this up because I just really wanted to uh, try out something from the brand. I know you guys really want me to try it out. So I definitely will give it a lot. Uh, definitely give it a go. Uh, this is definitely unique packaging. I like how it's like clear, flat to back. And then if I take it, and it doesn't really have a smell. So this is something we're definitely be playing around with. Like I said, try to pick up new items I have not tried before, but here we have this right here. This re did retail, I think for like $19.99. <laughs> so expensive for a lip gloss, but we'll have fun with it. Okay, so finally it's here, but I did, I know this is like so late to the game, but I picked up the ABH like a luminous foundation. So the reason why I picked this up is because of the fact that I want to do a full face of dewy skin products to show you guys what it's really like. Like you guys have seen my foundation reviews. You guys have seen me struggle to find my holy grail for oily skin. And that's why I'm so upset about Becca Cosmetics clothing. Oh my God, guys, my favorite primer, my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer. I'm going to go bye-bye. And I'm so upset. I'm so sad and everyone on Twitter is like, oh, that's sad. When's the sale? And now a lot of people think that ABH is going to go under, Stella, Lorac, Pure. A lot of people think these other brands are going to go under as well. So we'll see what ends up happening. I think that they lost their hype long ago. You never hear anyone talk about them ever, unfortunately. It's really sad, but uh, I'm going to have to stock up on this before they go down because this is like the best primer for me personally. But um, I, like I said, I'm on my quest to find the best foundation for oily skin. But I wanted to show you guys like what it's like for someone who has really oily skin like myself to put on anything luminous, radiant, glowy, dewy, because I want you guys to really see what it will look like and how bad my skin is going to look and how oily I'm going to look. So that's why I picked up this foundation. I was asking everybody in the comment section, like what is the best like dewy foundation? And everybody says that the luminous foundation from ABH is like the dewiest of the dew foundations. That's going to give you that glow. So I picked this up <laughs> to review. It's not going to work for me and I'm going to laugh my ass off if this freaking does. But I picked it up so we could do that review for you guys. And when I was actually at Paige's house, which tomorrow you guys will see our collaboration. But when I was at Paige's house, she actually gave me a couple other items to pick up, like to use for dewy skins. So I'm excited. All right, next I got the uh, Makeup Forever Shine Control. This was $17 for this little tiny itty bitty crap. And uh, a lot of the big ones were kind of sold out when I was purchasing everything. And I was like, I did not just pay $17 for this little travel size piece of shit. Like, I am so sorry, but I was so like mad at myself. I was like, who, why, why, why would I spend 17? You know what I did? I can't talk shit because I did. I did. So we have this for shine control. We are going to give this a go. We're going to try it in the full face of first impressions. <sighs> it better work. I swear to God, $17 for that little itty bitty thing. <laughs> All right, what else did I pick up? Oh, I picked up something from Lacombe. This is Lashed Lifting Volumizing Mascara. It's a fanned out volume mascara. So this is my first item from Lacombe. <laughs> Lacombe. And uh, I try to pick up, like I said, everything that's new that I don't have. And ooh, she's cute. Please be nice. Oh, okay. I might actually really like that. So that is actually really, really exciting. It's my first Lacombe. Look home. I just feel so fancy when I say that. I just feel so like rich when I say that. All right, what else did I pick up? I picked up a ABH Dip Brow Pomade. Did I really pick this up? Why did I pick this up? I think I know I picked this up. Um, so I have been binge watching a lot of old Jacqueline videos, Manny Me Way videos, Laura Lee videos, and I remember they talked about this product. So I picked it up to give it a try. I kind of wish I didn't do that because I picked up this Maybelline Tattoo Studio pomade and I think it's crap and I don't like it. Oh no, Allie, what did you just do? Okay, well, we're gonna. We're, this will be in that video. This will be in that video of first impressions. All right, last but not least, because uh, like I said, I'm waiting for those to come in. And then, yeah, it's not like it's the biggest haul in the world. It's it's really, really not. Like I, I watch like Paige's videos and I'm always like, oh my God, I wish I could buy all that stuff. But I picked up the new, oh my God, I, I swear, this is not like me. I picked up a beach. 
what, what am I doing? I'm picking up everything ABH. It's just they're the only ones that rolled out with all these new stuff. So I picked up their new um, highlighter. This is a Ice Out. So I picked this up. It's been a long time since I bought an ABH highlighter. And I have to say the packaging on this is actually super cute. And on the inside, ooh, I love that design, but I'm kind of scared because this looks like it has a green gold, like, uh, highlight feel. Oh, the texture is def. Oh, bitch. Okay. Definitely a green gold shift. I think that might be too deep for me. Okay. Well, you know, we will make the best of it. And if I happen to see anything um, come out before I film this video, I'll definitely let you guys know. I also have some things behind me to try out as well that I have not featured in today's video because it was sent to me by my friend Mikey. I know this is, like I said, this is really tiny, but surprisingly enough, these items do add up like ridiculously amount and I do have two more they're just not here but I'm excited because I want to try doing like a full face and I'll see if I can find like a foundation or powder or I'll just like, like pick something out from behind me but uh, I tried to buy all the stuff that's like the newest you know that I have not tried I guess I can use my NARS orgasm I've never used that before and it's not new but it's new to me but um yeah it's like a, a mini sephora ulta haul nothing big but i wanted to just film it for you guys i've only seen Paige do it and i just freaking love that she does it and i just always wanted to do it myself maybe one day i will be able to do like a two thousand dollar shopping spree like could you imagine oh my god that'd be freaking insane but uh yeah i'm so excited to film this video for you guys i'm also really excited to film my full face of like dewy skincare products because i swear to god you guys will laugh because that's gonna be a video but uh yeah this is just a really quick video just to show you guys some things i picked up and as soon as those other items come in i will film that video for you guys but um <laughs> yeah that is it for today's video guys if you guys like this video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post three to four mostly five times a week make sure you guys stay tuned to saturday february 27th at 8 p.m eastern standard time because i will be going live here for you guys and stay tuned to tomorrow because tomorrow my video with Paige goes live and so does hers. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. But, um, oh yeah, make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to all these beautiful Patreon members right here. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to live my dream and do this for you guys. I would not be here without each and every single one of you. And to you guys, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Whether you guys like this video, whether you guys thumbs down this video, whether you guys subscribed, unsubscribed, didn't subscribe, either way, I I truly, truly appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. At a, I, <laughs> and I actually, when I just got done, actually, when, so the reason I picked it, <laughs> so, but I also want to tell you guys like, but you guys have always like, you know, commented like, so I'm on the quest to find like the best product for oily skin.